Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. I myself Sasha Fatima. As you know, the world has completely changed in the last four months due to the present situation. May Allah help us reveal the situation quickly. So, as we all are locked up inside, we kids are left with plenty of time. So, let's just don't waste this time. Instead, let's be creative. I just thought how creative it would be if I try out a dish of my own. And so I decided. Today, I'll be showing you how to bake a cake which is lovely and juicy. It's none other than the red velvet cake. So, without any further ado, let's get started. The ingredients needed for this recipe are 1 cup of flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, baking powder and salt, and 1 and a half tablespoon of cocoa powder. 2 third cup of sugar, 1 fourth cup of melted butter and oil, an egg, half a cup of milk, half a teaspoon of natural vinegar, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, and some red food coloring. I'm going to be using red as I'm making red velvet cake. You can change the color according to your cake. So let's begin. First, take a bowl with a sieve. Add in your flour. And your dry ingredients mixture. Tap it really well. Mix it really well with a whisk. to break the egg with a knife. Time for the milk. And the vanilla extract. I'm going to be using one teaspoon. Just mix this really well. This might be loose, but don't worry, it's gonna get better. Time to add the vinegar, a half teaspoon. Have some fun with the food coloring. I'll be adding a half teaspoon. Nice color has come out. Here the job of this hand mixer ends. Time to add in our dry ingredients. I'm going to be using a spatula to do so. So we are going to add this in 3 to 4 batches so that we can avoid getting big big lumps. Fold in really well. Second batch.
use a hand whisk. So that it gets even more mixed. Add this into a cake bowl. I've greased a cake pan and it's with oil. You can add a baking powder, baking paper so that it does not stick to the end. As I'm going to make a two layer cake, I'll be adding just half of this mixture. The other half goes after this. Just shake it a little well. Now tap it. Tapping helps release all the air bubbles which get stuck inside. Yeah, that's neat. Now this cake pan goes straight into a 160 degrees Celsius preheated oven for at least 18 to 20 minutes. While the cakes are getting cooked, let's prepare the cream for it. For this, I need some sugar, whipping cream, you can also use the powder form of it, some cream cheese, and some vanilla extract. Let's get started. First, take some whipping cream. Let's start with the sugar. to add just three teaspoons of sugar. Now you have to beat it really well. Just a teaspoon. 